Cora, please be watching for Sophia, okay? Do you hear me? Be watching for Sophia so that she will not be alone. So, so you want to remove your jacket? Come on, come on, so that you remove your jacket. Cora, are you okay? Are the shoes comfortable? Okay, yeah, so just go. Sophia, um, Eva, she, Sophia, where is your baby? Sophia, can I hold your teddy? You're going to miss, you're going to lose your teddy. Want to take it off? Eh? Eh? Uh, come on, let's go and remove it. Or well, you have to hold me. Wait. But it's there, not even just you. Hi guys, happy Easter. Jesus is risen and Jesus is the reason for the season, okay? So we just finished having lunch and we are about to sleep. At least I'm going to tell my kids to go and sleep. Me and this young one here, we're about to watch a movie. I'm not even sure we're going to watch any movie. Do you, baby, have you found any movie for us to watch? For you to watch. All those are nonsense movies. See, I see the people that see him. You see Netflix, you know all those plenty, plenty movies that they put on Netflix. It's for people like this man, okay? It's for people like him because he watches everything. All the nonsense, <laughs> all these Chinese movies. I don't mean like Korean, I mean like all these Chinese movies, all these low budget movies. He used to watch all of them. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to look for a movie to watch. He said he has found one that he's going to watch because he knows that me, even though I always say let's watch movies, sometimes I, most times I sleep off because I don't. Okay, so when I'm watching a movie, within the first 15 minutes, I know whether I want to continue or not. I don't even want to see the end again. Especially now that my attention span has reduced, I don't have time to sit for one hour plus watching rubbish. So within the first, in fact, 10 minutes, if it doesn't make sense to me, I will just skip, right? So most times he ends up watching it alone while I start pressing phone or I sleep off. But anyway, yeah, I'm about to watch a movie. But I have a question. Actually, the reason why I want to talk to you guys today is that in my video where I talked about my culture shocks, I talked about how people always say, oh, be careful of Nigerians. You don't have to make friends with Nigerians. Look for other nationalities to make friends with. Nigerians in the UK are like this. Nigerians in the UK are like that. Backbiters, betrayers, gubotigbo, okay? And I kept, and I said in that video that for me, yo, I don't know what you are doing that is making them, that, that is making you people, you know, making them um, betray you or, you know, like, I feel like people are intermingling too much. You are revealing too much about yourself. You are doing too much with other people for them to have that power over you, right? I said it in that video. And then someone now replied me and said, or not even someone, many people now replied me and said that, you know, it's because you are still new in the UK, you're just talking because you're still a newbie, don't worry, with time, you're going to find out all these things. That basically, I have not seen anything, don't worry, you know, come back, come back in a few years and tell us your gist, right? 
Now my question to you guys is this because the people that we are replying those or people that are leaving those comments are all Nigerians, okay? So if every Nigerian is complaining about Nigeria, so who are the Nigerians that are being complained about? Who are the perpetrators of these betrayals and scandals and setting up and wickedness and evil, you know, behavior? Who are the perpetrators if every Nigerian in the UK that you meet is complaining about the same thing? Because these are not foreigners complaining about Nigerians, so that's a different ball game. If Nigerians are complaining about their fellow Nigerians, who exactly are we complaining about? So, is it time for us to look in words? <laughs> is it time for us to actually say the truth and know that we are actually the bad people we are talking about? Because, I mean, I'm not saying that these things don't happen within any group of people, within any culture of people, there are always people that are going to be betrayers, there are always people that are going to be backstabbers or setting people up or wicked people, right? Although in some cultures, you have more of them than in other cultures, especially in cultures where there's so much struggle, you have more people like that than in other cultures, okay? So I, I'm not saying that uh, it doesn't exist among Nigerians, but I'm saying if every Nigerian is complaining about other Nigerians and are saying stay away from Nigerians, then who exactly are the perpetrators? I've even heard about it about Nigerian churches. Like each time I say, oh, I'm looking for a Nigerian church to attend, people are like, no, don't go to a Nigerian church. It's better for you to just look for a foreign church or a mixed mixed race church and go to. I like, see that you go to a white church or a church that is that encompasses all races and all of that instead of going to go to a Nigerian church because Nigerian churches are ah, they do this, they do that, they do too much. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, who are those people that are doing the too much? Who are those people who are? Except maybe it is a. Um, previous immigrants and new immigrants, as in old immigrants and new immigrants struggle. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it is the old immigrants that are dealing with the new immigrants. And by new immigrants, I mean people who just migrated within the last five years. Okay, maybe. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know. Anyway, let me not, let me not come and see what to come and bite me in the ass tomorrow. But that's, that's how I feel, Sha. That's how I feel. And sometimes, many of you, what's the un unspoken truth that many people don't like to admit is that sometimes we ourselves engage in those behaviors and then it is what backfires on us okay so if you're talking about oh they, they gossip a lot maybe you too you gossip a lot that is why they're gossiping about you okay because you also gossip about other people okay <laughs> anyway um yesterday was cora's friend's birthday and she had so much fun you guys in fact they, all my kids they had so much fun so the time to go now i told them let's go home they said they don't want to go they don't want to go I left them now because the people that, that we went there with, they were not really in a hurry to go home. So I just left them. They continued playing and playing and playing until they now by themselves got tired. And I came and said, cry, I want to go home, I'm tired, the noise is too much, I'm feeling headache. I said, no, no, if not that means I wanted to go home, I would have said, ah, no, I don't want to go. Let me go and order my own food. Let me, let me go. Now is the time I want to eat. Let me sit down there and balance. Oh, you people should go and play by force. But anyway, they had fun. We're going to have so much fun this this holiday because um, Cora's friend's mom said, you know, we should meet up during this holiday. She will show me around. She'll take me to places. We'll even discover new places together because she said that even though she has been to so many places here, she's she's from this place actually. She's a British woman. She said even though she has been to so many places here, that there are still places that have opened up that she has not been to. So. We'll discover new places together as well. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Anything to just keep these children busy during this holiday. Even though I don't really have time like that though. I don't really have time like that. But let me just sacrifice it. Sacrifice my time for them. This uh, neighbor here. Eh, anytime I'm making videos near a window. They will now come there and be watching me. They don't know that the way they can see me is the way I can see them. <laughs> Maybe they think their own window is tinted. It's the way I can see you that you can see me. The other day somebody was looking, pointing. I I saw it. I see everything people are doing. Anyway, my battery is about to off. Let me lie down and let's watch our movie. I'll see you guys later. What's up guys? You guys, I just finished filming videos and I'm so tired, I'm so hungry. But at the same time, today is the day that all the groceries I ordered, today is first of the month by the way. So on the 31st or 30th or 29th, whatever, the last day of the previous month is when I order groceries for the first. So yesterday, I usually order from Asda, that is the deliver. I order from Asda and from Food by CPC and you know they delivered my husband was the one that packed everything even though some things are still here let me show you guys some things are still here i ordered apple cider vinegar with the mother 
This was the substitute they gave me, but I don't want this. I don't want it. I was not here. If I was here, I would have handed this back to the driver because if you hand it back to the driver, they won't charge you for it. They will just, you know, remove it from your bill or whatever. But it was my husband that collected it for me. That's why, you know, um, I wasn't. I, I would have, I, that's why I didn't see it on time and the person left. Okay. Then this is the ones from Food by CPC. I ordered okra. I want to cook okra soup this night, and I think I'm going to cook that soup this night. Then this is plantain. So this is half carton of plantain. I just put this one inside my fridge and use it small, small. The last one that I bought, the one from last month, is still remaining, just a little. Yeah, I see my pineapples. I bought pineapples from Asda for Zobo. So this is the remaining from the last batch I bought. Just three remaining. Forget that it looks black. It's actually not, not soft inside though. It's just the body that is black. But the plantain inside is just, you know, just right. Just just okay. It's not overripe. It's not underripe. It's just okay. Um, this looks like, like my children's handwork. I usually buy chopped tomatoes. Um, I use it to make stew. Yeah, it's not supposed to be inside fridge. I also buy meat from Food by CPC. This is one I use and cook okra, but I, don't, I think this meat will not be enough. Though. I should have brought out two. Not even I think it will not be enough. Hey, why did I bring out two meats? Huh? The other one now will be hard to defrost. Or I should just keep this in and cook it tomorrow. I think I'll keep it and cook it tomorrow because I'm tired. <laughs> Put the meat back. Even though I don't like bringing out meat and putting it back. Let me put it back. Then I also bought bread in bulk. Oh, uh, this food did not arrange it the way I normally arrange it. Though. This is not how I arrange my bread. <laughs> yeah, I was filming, so anyhow I see, I'm not gonna collect. This is not how I arrange my bread, though. So I just buy four bread and four basically is like one per week. Yeah, that's why I buy four bread. These frozen chips. This ice cream will be here now. Nobody will lick it. This ice cream has been here for a long time. Maybe I'll bring it up. I always forget. Yeah, so. That's it. Four bread, one per week. Then also, I bought milk, and these people gave me milk that is expiring. Not expiring, best before tomorrow. And I bought this milk for, for, for two weeks at least. Eh? I've asked for my refund though. I've asked for my refund because you cannot be giving me milk that is going to that is best before tomorrow. That, that doesn't even make sense. This is yogurt that I made. So now I'm going to be forced to make. I'm going to turn all these things into yogurt. We go drink yogurt, we go tire. But thank God I bought a cloth for Greek yogurt. So I'm just going to use it and you know make my Greek yogurt. But it's too much milk for the or maybe I should just freeze it. Oh did I buy lemon? Yes, I bought lemon. Yes. Oh, oh who put onions here? Oh, hold on. Anyways, can stay there. I bought lemon. I'll use it and make um cream cheese. Nice. I'll use it and make cream cheese. Yeah, so every other thing that we haven't bought, which is more like fruit and some fresh ingredients, I usually buy them from Aldi. Like I go in person to Aldi to buy them and you know sometimes i go to morrison's because we have a morrison's closer to us so it's either i go to morrison's like if i just pick my kids from school and i want to buy like fruits i can just branch at morrison's and buy it but if i want to do like monthly grocery shopping or food stuff shopping i go to aldi but i just discovered a place recently that is called farm foods okay farm foods i haven't gone there but i saw it online and i found the nearest place to me so i am going to be exploring farm foods tomorrow i'll go to farm foods first and just see how things are there before i now go to aldi and that will make my monthly shopping complete another thing that i did not buy in these first two days is usually not that important okay like if i didn't buy it in these first two days then it's something i can either easily get or something i can't store for too long or like peppers, I don't, I don't buy too many peppers when I need I just buy from Aldi like I mean all these um like what they call those peppers again like th not that I share now all this, not, it's not even chili, what do they call it? sweet, sweet peppers or something like that sweet peppers, not bell peppers though. like the long long peppers all those kind of peppers, when I need them I buy, I don't like buying too many and storing even though when I buy, I can keep it in my fridge for one or two days before I use it but I don't buy like in bulk to store 
yeah because well we always have a reason to go to either audi or asda so yeah so i think that i don't buy for me this is the rice i buy this is asda long grain rice i like this rice so much this is the one i buy i don't know if it is cheap or expensive i don't know what to compare it with so yeah but this is the rice i buy i wanted the 4 kg bag but they gave me two instead that's not that's not bad like it's okay you know it's okay that they gave me two instead i'll just pour everything into the container even though I think this two is more expensive. Oh. I think this two is more expensive. It's slightly more expensive to buy these two than to just buy one bag. They have a 4 kg bag and I think they have a 5 kg bag. I don't know. And I saw it the other day when I went to Asda, but I forgot. I said I was going to buy it and now I forgot. But anyway, that's it for our monthly shopping. Let me know if you live in the UK. Let me know any tips and tricks that you guys have. Uh, what do you guys do? Where do you guys get things? affordable if you live in norwich where do you guys get things affordable the reason why i want to check farm foods is to just check for meats and see the kind of meats they sell and how affordable the meat is um i went to a butcher the other day the place smelled so bad like so bad it's beside spice land right the place smelled so bad i just couldn't okay i couldn't i had to leave so i'm like no 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 no. i need to go to a clean because i well let me not say anything sure. but i need to go to a clean butcher and just, you know try to get meat from them if i figure out anyone or you guys if you are in, if you live in norwich and you know any good one let me know but if i find anyone i'll also say it here anyway thank you guys so much for watching that is the end of today's vlog i'm really 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 exhausted while i was filming my neighbor came to tell us that she has a lawnmower and if we need it that we can you know borrow it so my husband was like oh fine he now took the lawnmower from her and he mowed the lawn and we're very excited because we were trying to well not with him <laughs> he was saying one day that ah that he's like he's going to buy lawnmower me i was like why are you buying lawnmower i was like are you sure nobody nobody's um, borrows and I, by borrow i mean like a place where you just hire it and return it when you are done because me i'm not looking for more things to be accumulating in this house so that's why he didn't buy the lawnmower there so thankfully you know as god will have it he, he sent a neighbor to us like we're so blessed we're so blessed <laughs> even though i was not thinking i hope it's not shade i hope she's not trying to say you guys your lawn looks very dirty like take and mow your lawn i don't know if that's the case uh, whatever we still achieved the result we wanted to achieve so the person's intention is not my business but yeah i told my husband we're just going to get you know maybe wine and something and just go and say hi to them one day and just gift her maybe i'll find something else for her not maybe not wine but who everybody takes wine i beg i think everybody takes wine so maybe wine and something just give her and tell her thank you because she didn't have to you know like she didn't have to it's not like we're even friends or anything we don't really talk or anything so you know her kids go to choral school so sometimes i just say hi to her in school but we've never really sat down to start having a conversation so for her to offer it is quite you know lovely and she's a white woman or you know quite lovely so yeah anyway hmm. i'll see you guys in my next video bye